This is the first ever vlog sale video that I've ever done on my channel and I have been on YouTube for six years. So this is um, very new for me and I do have quite a few items to let go from my collection. Now, I love all my items and I do sell them but I don't do them in a video like this. I usually just do it on my Instagram. But I know some of these items are very sought after by many of you so I thought we'd do it as a sale vlog. And the reason I am doing this is because I am getting my funds ready for next year because I am, you know, I am on my Hermes journey. I am going to buy a few bags. So I am trying to be good about my collection. I cannot, well, I cannot collect as many bags as my heart desires. <laughs> if I could, I would not sell any of these bags. But to be the responsible grown-up, I, yeah, I need to do uh, the responsible thing, not to keep buying and keep collecting bags and yeah, hurt my finances, right? So this is the reason why I am doing this vlog sale and all the information that I will share about each of these items will also be listed in the description section down below. How am I going to be doing this vlog sale? I will list the prices in Singapore dollars and that's the currency that I prefer to receive but I will also put the USD equivalent in the for each of the items in the description section down below so you can go and check it out. And this is of course open internationally but my priority customers would be uh, the ones in Singapore or in Malaysia because it's easy for me to either meet up with you uh, and hand the item to you and it's I guess it's just a little bit more convenient for me but of course if you are in the United States or the UK or anywhere around the world I will handle the shipping if the shipping is not too high so otherwise we can discuss the shipping uh, cost I will use FedEx overnight shipping to ship the item to you which will cover insurance as well in terms of payment I prefer bank transfer or PayPal friends and family Otherwise, if you want to use the regular uh, supplier PayPal, there is a 4.5% surcharge which I will add up in the total cost of the item and uh, let you know. And finally, if you do like any of these items, you will have to email me. So I will list my email down below as well because that's the easiest way to communicate with me. If you were to DM me on Instagram or even leave a comment in the comment section down below, it may get lost. So I prefer to work using my uh, YouTube email. So without further ado, let's get into the items that I will be letting go. Let's start with Chanel and the first item that I have been thinking about for a long time to let go is my Chanel Jumbo. <laughs> I have been thinking about it for a long time, you know, I keep talking about it and if I really, really want to get my bag from Hermes, I cannot be keeping such high price items in my collection. This is my very first Chanel bag. Now, I will be inserting B-rolls as I talk, so you can see uh, maybe close-ups of these items. And if there's any flaws, I will let you know. So I bought this bag in 2014, and it's the 19 series. And honestly, it looks, it looks fantastic. It's... It's definitely used, you know, the um, the bag is not, I would say, as puffy as the day I got it. But honestly, if you were to carry this bag, it looks, it looks just as, it looks just as new. Like, you wouldn't imagine that this has, this is a bag that is got in 2014. In terms of wear and tear, there is that little scratch uh, on the turn lock on the tip right here. And then in terms of the corners here... I would say that um, there is only one, I think there's this one corner that has a bit of rubbing. The rest is really, really light. The rest of the bags, there is no tears. You know, the shape of the bag is still in that curve because I don't squish my bag underneath my armpit and like squash it. I don't do that because I know that you want to maintain the puffy top on this part. Also, uh, there isn't any like wear in the inside even though i do not use a bag organizer the leather lining inside here is amazing definitely used but there's no scratches there are no uh yeah there are no i don't see any dents honestly it looks like a brand new bag so yeah i have decided to let this go it will come with the authentic authenticity card 
it will also come with the dust bag as well as the original receipt with my personal details uh, removed. So yes, this is the first item that I'm letting go. The second item from Chanel that I'm letting go is my camera bag. So I always keep my bags in the box and I always wrap them up to protect them. So this is my second Chanel handbag and oh my gosh, I love this bag so much. I got this bag in 2015 and honestly, this bag Oh, I treasure it so much. It still has the leather lining for a seasonal bag. It has a toggle at the side. It is in lambskin and it has such a beautiful, beautiful... Even today, the leather smells just amazing. Now, with this bag, I actually have a little bit of... I, I think it's like damage because it's, it's like depuffed here. I've got four dots here that are kind of depuffed. Uh, I have received like, you know advice to unpuff it like some people have advised me to put steam and you know put it out but I've honestly never done it because I am I just I'm not that kind of person to try things like that but if you are that daring person and you've tried to depuff things and you decide that you want this bag be my guess but I I can't <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm just too, too chicken. You probably could, but I just don't know how to do it. Like if you could depuff it. So apparently that's one way to do it. So other than that flaw here, there is, of course, there's one scratch that's across here, but it's kind of light. I could probably buff it up even before I hand it over to the, uh, the new home. But yeah, there's one scratch here. And I can't really tell. I think there's another one at the back or a little really slight one. I treasure this bag so much that I actually hardly use it. I do use it, but I would say less than 10 times over the years that I've gotten it because it's one of my favorite bags. It feels so luxurious in the hands. And um, in terms of corner wear, nothing. Like I said, it's hardly, hardly uh, less used compared to my other bags. So yeah, I am letting this go and... It will come with the booklet and it will come with the authenticity card. Now, it will not come with the receipt because uh, the receipt contains uh, another item that I have. So, yeah, it will only come with the authenticity card and I will price it right for this little bit of bumps here. Uh, yeah. I think a lot of people expected me to let this go and it's actually uh, the mini reissue. So... This mini reissue is actually brand new in box. I bought it kind of like an impulse purchase and I haven't used it. Yes, it is brand new. It still has its stickers. Uh, it's, well, you know, it's brand new. <laughs> there's nothing, there's no flaws. It's still in, it's, it's, it still smells like the day I got it, you know, with the um, uh, felt and uh, yeah, it's, it's basically a new bag. And you know with the reissues, you can actually squish it down. And once you squish it down, you can sort of like, you know, get that little line here. Look at that. It's not even, it doesn't, there's no line because I haven't even, yeah, I haven't even touched it at all. The only time I've used it is in videos where I shared this little bag and showed it. It's an amazing bag. I do have a huge collection of mini bags and I do have a lot of black bags. So I just want to be better at having too many of something. So that's the reason why I'm letting this go. Now I do have the caramel bag, which unfortunately is not in this uh, vlog sale. I had to decide between this or the caramel bag because you know they are mini bags. And being the responsible person, I decided that this one has to go and I will be keeping the caramel bag. Final Chanel bag that I'm letting go. Some may say this is an SLG. But I have decided to let go of the round clutch. So this was my wildcard purchase. It's, oh my gosh, I am... <laughs> okay, this is hard. Like, I have struggled for a few nights to think of whether I would let this go. Now, it really depends. Like, I... I'm going to put a price that I feel that it's right for me to let it go because this is such a unicorn little bag and the prices of the Chanel bags keep going up and up and up. And I don't think you can even get this anymore. This is... I've only used this once, honestly. So it is... It is basically new. Um... It's that iridescent green. It even looks, in front of me, it looks like purple. On camera, it looks a little like 
chameleon, you know, that kind of Egyptian beetle green. It's so, so beautiful. Now, I'm putting this in this vlog because I don't want to have too many mini bags. So with this other, I, with this, I have three mini bags. So I've got the top handle from Chanel. I've got this. I've got the Fendi Nano. And if you were to consider a wok, I also have a wok. So I just feel like I have way too many mini bags or micro bags. And yeah, it just doesn't feel right. Even though I do get a lot of use out of my mini bags. But you know what I mean? Like, be responsible, cat. So I am going to put this at a little higher premium. Uh, but honestly, it's not so bad compared to some of the bags. And if you are into a micro bag, yeah. This is a really, really good one. It's caviar lambskin. It's, it's really, really soft and luxurious. So, okay. Oh, it's difficult. Okay. I have three Chanel costume jewelry to let go. The first is this brand new inbox earrings, which I got quite a while ago, but I just have not used this. The CC uh, Diamante or, you know, faux, faux Diamante earrings. They are so pretty. I never got a chance to use them and I realized that I'm not a, I guess I'm not a CC earring person. I do like to wear them once in a while, but because I have so many ear holes, I tend to like to wear the ones that are a little bit slimmer and thinner so that I can actually wear more earrings. So I find that when I want to wear like CC earrings, I've got to take up two or three of them and then not that kind of person to keep changing out my earrings. I do love to wear like hoop earrings and uh, stuff like this. So I have like, two more pairs, but because this is brand new, I haven't used it at all. I believe these are made in France. I can't see, it's too small. But um, yeah, I'm letting this go. The earrings are perfectly fine, except the box. Now, I don't know about you guys, when you have boxes that are like kept a little bit older, the velvet tends to fall apart. So the box doesn't look pretty. Like the box is a bit like um, coming off the, the, I don't know, this kind of like velvet. But the earrings, trust me, I guarantee they are perfectly fine. There's no issue with them. Uh, yeah, so this will only come with the earrings. I do not have the receipt for this anymore. I believe I sold it, sold an item with the receipt. So it only comes with uh, the earrings. The other costume jewelry is a necklace. And this is from one of the Karl Lagerfeld collections with um, the, his cat was the, um, I think it was like the key focus. So this is actually the cat necklace and it has the cat, it has a CC with the diamantes and it comes with two length, one at 18 and one at 30 centimeters. So you can adjust it as a choker or wear it longer. I actually really love this because this is like a history of Karl Lagerfeld, he and his cat. And it's a little bit of him and his history with Chanel. Because if you know Karl Lagerfeld, like if you follow him, he's always with his cat, right? I think it's Chopet. So yeah, this is like a little Chopet here. Super, super cute. The eyes of Chopet has like the Chanel's and it has a little Chanel. It's because it's silver, it will match so many things. Do have the receipt for this. So um, yeah, I'm also letting this go. And the final Chanel costume jewelry that I'm letting go are these Chanel CC, uh, vintage CC earrings. Wow, these fellows were, unfortunately, or fortunately for all of you, didn't get sold. Now, the person that uh, contacted me on Instagram and said that she wanted to buy this, and we were going through the whole process of buying and selling, and then for some reason, she bailed. So she ghosted me and I actually waited for this person. So I actually don't know if it's a guy or girl, maybe my for a girlfriend. So they ghosted me and yeah, I still have this for sale. It'll, it'll come with the box, there is no receipt. And the only flaw is that the little plastic uh, casing that covers the, the backing, that has popped out in one of the earrings. Uh, it's not really damaged, but it's just that for some reason, maybe when I was pulling it, it popped out. I know some people actually remove the plastic, so it's not actually an issue. But I wanted to let you know that if you are thinking that both of them are stuck there, no, one of them actually popped out. But I still have it, just that um, I don't, well, but I don't actually use this as well. I think I've only worn it maybe once out and maybe one time for a video. 
but honestly I yeah like I said I don't really wear earrings so I did want to I did want to sell it earlier but then yeah I got ghosted so I thought I'll put it I just didn't bother to do it all over again on Instagram I decided to wait until this vlog sale to uh, let it go so this is the very 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 popular vintage uh, earrings from vintage dangly earrings from uh, Chanel. Finally, I have one pair of Chanel shoes to let go. This is also listed on my Instagram. So this pair of leather Chanel shoes, I have worn them so they are used but honestly they are super super clean. Um, I've worn them like, yeah I think I've only worn them twice in the entire time that I've had them so the leather is still very very supple cause but you know because they have that leather like the white bottom it is um, you can see it's a little bit dirtier um, there are pictures on my Instagram so this is also going to be let go it comes with the box um, let me just see it comes with the box and there's the dust bags here there is the receipt as well and I believe there are extra extra shoelaces there we are yeah, there are extra black shoelaces as well. So yeah, they will come with the whole set, except that yes, these are uh, used shoes. The size of these leather shoes are 37 and a half. And um, yeah, pretty straightforward for these pair of shoes. Moving on to LV, I have three items. And the first is... Okay, so this is also quite difficult, but I am putting up my Petite Noe for sale. Now, I bought this during the pandemic because I have been like just thinking about it for a long 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 time and I decided to repurchase this bag because I didn't get to love it the last time and I decided to buy it during the pandemic and then during the pandemic didn't really go out I actually only managed to use it once and look at it it's perfectly white there is one little mark there's like a little mark here but over time this will patina and it will um, go away. It's not, I won't even say it's a scratch. It's sort of like, I don't know, maybe that part got patina a little bit more. But the bag itself, it's actually near new condition. The other part that you will maybe see somewhere is this strap because I did loop it to, you know, open and close this. With this bag, I will also be giving the Zumoni bag organizer and so that you don't have to get one because I got one for this bag. And if you do buy this bag and you decide that you also want this additional strap, I can sell it together, but otherwise you can decide not to take this strap. This is actually an accessory that uh, I bought in addition to when I got this bag because I wanted it to be like a top handle as well, which is absolutely awesome because now you can wear it on your shoulder, which is great. Um, both these items, like the bag and the Matisse strap, Matisse hobo strap. So this strap, both of them have different receipts. So yeah, uh, you can decide to just take the bag with or without this strap. I'm, I'll be fine with that. But I will not sell this strap on its own. So if I don't sell this bag, I would not sell this strap <laughs> because I wanted to buy it together like this. So it's sort of like you got a like it's sort of like a bundle deal. But yeah, I, um, yeah, I decided to let this go because, again, being responsible and. Uh, getting other bags next year. I am also letting go my Khan's bag. So this is a limited edition Khan's bag, which is from the 3D uh, collection. And it already comes pre-patina, but this pre-patina is such a beautiful honey color that it attracted me immediately because firstly, you don't have to worry about that stark whiteness. And it's such a beautiful shade that goes along with this 3D monogram. It's super unique and what I love about it is that it also has that canvas on this side so when you put it against your body you don't have to worry about any kind of like patina rubbing, I mean sorry the leather rubbing on your clothes. It comes with silver hardware, comes with a strap and I also have a bag organizer for this. Comes with the lock and the receipt and everything so this is practically brand new as well there is no flaw at all and i love this i know people don't actually find this to be useful but this is a talking piece and you it's a, it's like a little fun piece of lv out there and you know uh, the khan's design has been coming out again and again and again it's one of those i would say pretty iconic right now from LV. So I love the fact they have the monogram here and then they have the damia at the top. So it's a really, really fun piece uh, to have if you are into the Khan's bag.
The final item from LV that I'm letting go is this key clay. And the reason I'm letting this key clay go is not because it's like a high price item, but I honestly am not an SLG person. So this is that key clay that I have had for a while now. Um, but yeah, I just don't use it. And I just actually just put my cards inside and I leave it at home. I'm not utilizing this key clay enough to justify me having this sitting in the house locked up in my cupboard and just looking pretty in my own cupboard. I'm not actually taking this out. So this key clay is, uh, of course, it's a little used because of the um, this keychain here. When I put my cards inside and I leave it together, it does get a little scratch. But otherwise, it's actually in very, very good condition. When I did take it out uh, using it, I was using it for traveling only because I would hook it inside my handbag or I would hook it inside my backpack but you haven't been traveling at all, so I've decided to let this go. Now, it will come with its uh, receipt, which still comes in the brown box, uh, brown envelope, the care cards, but I could not find the original little dust bag. So I found another dust bag that's a little bigger, um, but better than nothing, right? So yeah, I'm also letting this item go. I have two silver jewelry pieces from Tiffany & Co., and you know this is one of those pieces that I'm pretty sure you can't get brand new at these prices anymore. So the first is this, it comes in this box. It is the um, 10 mm bead silver necklace that is actually brand new. It comes in this beautiful box and look at how luxurious it is. Now when I bought this, I was thinking about, you know, me not a pearl kind of girl. I was more of this kind of silver bead kind of girl. So I wanted a pearl necklace, but not pearl, and I wanted a bead necklace. So I actually bought this and I never got a chance to use it. And then I actually purchased um, the bracelet to go with it. So I have the matching bracelet, which is the same size, the bead bracelet. This is, I believe, 18 centimeters and it fits my wrist. It's such a beautiful piece. You know, they actually re-released this entire like bead line, called it hardware or hard wearing or hardware or something. And obviously they jacked up the prices. So the, the price that I paid is obviously, well, it's still, it's definitely a little higher because these are just uh, a more unique and larger items from Tiffany. But look at that, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, together with this necklace. So I, yeah, I've decided to let this go because like I said, I haven't been using a lot of my stuff and I have been just wearing my Cartier and all. So rather than just put my Tiffany silver pieces in the container, I thought that if anybody's looking for them, um, yeah, you can definitely contact me for this bracelet or the necklace. And the final item is actually from Coach. This is my Coach wallet. So this is the similar wallet to the LV Zippy card holder. I bought this while I was in America. It comes with its whole, you know, the whole thing, like the receipt, the card, you know, the packaging is really good for Coach and I got this uh, during my trip and I love this wallet because it is like caviar if you're looking for a slim buy full wallet with card slots and a space to put your card your cash this is an amazing amazing little wallet but I have been not using wallets I have been downsizing into smaller and smaller bags to practically just SLGs adjust the bag itself that I do not see myself using this for the foreseeable future. So yeah, I'm letting this go to somebody who's looking for this wallet. It's actually not that easy to find in Singapore locally. And um, yeah, I think if you're, if, you, if you're still a wallet kind of person, this is a great one to have. So those are all the items that I'm letting go. Like I said earlier, contact me via my email. I'll put it up here as well as in the description section down below. You can contact me um, to let me know which one you are interested. I do have some close-up pictures. I can send them across to you as well. If there are any items with receipts, I will definitely be crossing out my personal details, my signature, and also you might see a little scribble here and there. But otherwise, uh, I guarantee that all these items are authentic, <laughs> of course. So anyway, thank you for watching and everybody please take care, stay safe. I will see you in my next video. Bye!